on an island in the middle of the Hauraki Gulf, just 35 minutes from downtown Auckland, is Cable Bay Vineyards. Meet the winemaker, Neil Cully. When you first arrive at Cable Bay, you have to come down into the building from where you see the magnificent view back to Auckland City. We have a bar which you can enjoy, a top restaurant. From there, there's the tasting room. We have private rooms for meetings, and in addition, you can come down to where we are now in the wine library for a private dinner. We have an art gallery with exhibitions changing about every two months. Art can be a little bit like wine, and some people are a little intimidated by it, feel they don't know enough to enjoy it. We find by having great New Zealand art throughout the winery and outside with outdoor sculpture that people get introduced to art and find that they can really relate and enjoy it. Once you walk through the art gallery, you can view the main cellar floor and see the wines being made. This time of the year, in the middle of winter, all the white wines are put to bed in barrel and essentially are just sitting there right through until about December or January and get them ready for bottling. And with the red wines, we've just started the first racking when the new season wines are taken out of barrel, the barrels are given a clean up and put back into barrel. Cable Bay Vineyards was designed by the architect Charlie Knott and our brief to him was essentially we've got a wonderful site here. We don't want to stick something on the top of a hill and go look at me and we really wanted the building to integrate into the surroundings and it's really a building about coming into and enjoying it. So we like to think the building wraps its arms around you. Caring for the environment is paramount and right from the beginning of Cable Bay that was one of our guiding principles. The winery is built underground so we'd minimise our energy usage. All our vineyards are sustainably accredited which is an independent accreditation which is audited annually. My inspiration for Cable Bay really was driven out of Burgundy. Having worked in California, it was very high tech. Winemakers were gods, but when I got to Burgundy, I found winemakers who were more interested about growing grapes and the wines are better for it. Grape growing on an island has a lot of positives. We have an afternoon sea breeze during the growing season, which keeps the vines nice and dry, stops excessive growth, low humidity, and lower rainfall. The soils in Waiheke are predominantly clay soils, but they have a unique characteristic which is fantastic for grape growing in that uh, whilst they absorb the water during the winter, during the summer they dry out and the structure of them causes the water, the, the plates to run vertically so they open up and uh, during the summer when we do get a little bit of rain, the water runs away quickly. Within the different vineyards we're able to select sites, say north facing slopes, for hot varieties like Syrah, Cabernet, Merlot, and on the slightly cooler slopes, we can grow varieties like Chardonnay and Viognier. Our reserve range of wine is the very best that we produce in any year. The varieties we produce are Chardonnay, our Bordeaux blend, and also Syrah. These wines are only available at the restaurant or by special arrangement with private collectors. Cable Bay Wines, we're really trying to capture what each individual vineyard gives to us. And to achieve that, we want the grapes to come out of the vineyard in perfect condition. So as a winemaker, I really have to do very little to them and they reflect where they're growing. And out of that, you get complexity and depth in the wines. When people drink Cable Bay wine, what I'd like them to experience is there's a little something in the wine that, that captures their imagination. And in the cellar, our favorite saying is, uh, we'd like the last glass out of the bottle of wine to be the most interesting. <laughs>